Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in my last video, I said I was going to be showing you the type of mixture of seeds I give my bird and the type of gravel I get for her to help her digestive system. And I'm also going to be showing you the type of bedding I give her. Um, and I am sorry about the confusion in the last video if you did read the description. Oh, I was going to be posting every day this week to get my channel started and Tuesday I didn't post so Wednesday I was going to post for Tuesday and for Wednesday and then I made a video but I completely forgot to post it so today I'm going to be posting three times. I already posted the K tutorial video and all the things read. Now I'm posting the seed bedding and gravel video and I'm not entirely sure what my next video will be but it'll most likely be more information about parakeets or something ferret related. So we're just going to jump right into the video. So first we're going to start with the bedding. I get a Katie Forti Diet Pine bedding. Um, they are pine shavings. I know some people might say, oh, those are not safe for birds. But I did call around, I did research, and they are ideal for their health, and they don't harm it. And they have a natural aroma too, so. Now, things like these, for ferrets, they're not okay. Sorry, it's windy outside, and there's a bunch of these. For ferrets, these are not okay, but for parakeets, yours, these are completely fine. They're harder to deal with when changing the bedding, but they're completely fine. So, you can get these if you'd like, or you can get actual bird bedding. Um, so, yeah, I did the Katie Furti Diet Pine Small Pet Bedding and Litter, and as a fresh natural aroma. And I will be repeating them just to make sure everyone like knows what it is. This is what it looks like. So, yeah. Next, I'm gonna be showing the gravel. I get a, um, I get the Ecotrician Bird Gravel Digestive Care, and it has aids in digestion and helps combat hyperacidity. I can read. So, I got this when I first got Abigail. Um, ooh, you know what? I know what my next video is gonna be. It's gonna be about my bird Marcus. There's gonna be, it's gonna be a long emotional video, but it's okay. So I get this bird gravel because I don't want her to have any problems because birds are very delicate so I want to prevent anything from happening with them having to get surgery or anything like that or them having any problems so I get this bird gravel and she eats it every once in a while I hope so yeah get this for your bird it will help them and ensure a longer life. Next, I'm going to move on to the food. In my pantry, I since I'm going to get a lot more pets soon, I need to make room for them. So, I have all the bird food stored in this um, box. I did sanitize it really good before I put it in there. But first, I'm going to start off with this. This is a very, very, very great formula of seeds to get for your parakeet. It's very healthy, and I highly recommend getting it for your parakeets. It is a Vita Prima subscription. It's a parakeet formula, and it is a nutritionally fortified diet designed for parakeets. And it's, it, it says it has a high-protein diet. It's omegas 3s DHA, and probiotics, and it has vitamins A, D, E, and calcium. And... It's supposed to really help your bird with vitamins and minerals, skin, skin and feather, immune and digestive, and vitality. Um, I still wouldn't just get this if you're trying to keep it high in protein because birds need a lot of protein. And a way to tell if they have enough or they don't is if their poop is lime green or anywhere in the green, green zone, they do not have enough protein and you need to get that up. And I'll, I will be showing you how later in the video. And if they have brown poop, then you're doing everything right with the food. Their protein staying up. Good job. But I wouldn't just get this, but it's a very good seed mixture to get. It's a little pricey. I'm not sure of the price, but I think it was a little pricey. But it's just, it's a very good formula. Very good for them, very nutritious. So next we're going to move on to the box. That had a pop. Okay. So here's what it looks like in... Just a mom trying to save some room. So first, this... It's free some straw. Anyways, this is the seed mixture that I get. This, I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but on Uncle... I got... I get all this food from Uncle Bill's, and they have these little slots filled with seeds, and you choose which ones you want, and honestly... Let me take a look in here, but I'm pretty... Why did I say look -sees? 
these are basically the same thing. Um, if, like I said, I got all my food from local bills, and it really helps my bird. Um, so, this is just all, this, this is what it looks like. Let me try to get the right one. Nope, never mind. But this is just what it looks like. Um, it's just a normal seed mixture, and I'm pretty, you just need to get a good kind of seed. And if you go to Uncle Bill's, just look for one of the food slots that you just fill up with the bag by and it costs money by the pound um look for one with a parakeet on it look for the one that looks like this one and that will be good for you just one one more look and the reason why i don't know the name of this is because i got it from the slot and it, it and i don't remember the name because it wasn't in the bag so yeah this is good for her too she loves seeds um next are millet or as li as i like to call them honeycombs and she does only have one left but i just gave her a fresh one a couple of days ago that she hasn't really nibbled on yet so she should be good for a while but these i also got from uncle bill's basically all the things i've shown you i got from uncle bill's except the forti diet bedding but this is the extreme millet spray um and it's a natural treat for parakeets cockatiels finches canaries and other pet birds um, and parakeets go crazy over these things. Abigail's not that crazy about them, but Marcus, I would just come to him and be like, and he would come straight up to me and try to peck at the bag and get me to open it, and he loves it. And is it says that it's a excellent daily treat for pet birds. It's healthy, nutritious, and irresistible, and it helps stimulate the natural foraging instinct and relieves cage boredom. And like I said, they they are crazy about these. I think I have a really tiny one in here. But yeah, she absolutely, well, at least parakeets, most of them, absolutely love these. So, extreme millet spray. I don't know why they call it spray. You just get honeycombs, that's what I call them, or millets, same thing. Literally, I'm not even saying that because how similar they are. They're literally the same thing, just people like to call them different names. Next, I also got this from Uncle Bill's. It is the Katie Yo Dip Sunflower Seeds, and they are a blueberry favorite treat. Um, whenever I look in her cage, it kind of looks like she just picks them out, but I think from time to time she eats them, so I like to include them just in case. So, this is what they look like. Here. It has. So, birds, some birds should really love these. Um, like I said, Abigail, I look at her cage where she, like, accidentally drops some of the food, and it looks like a lot of the seeds get there, but either she just keeps dropping them, or she just picks them out, but I don't know, and I want to keep giving her these. So, like I said, these are Katie Yodip Sunflower Seeds, and they're blueberry flavored. You don't have to get blueberry flavored, but these are just the ones I got, and they've lasted for a really long time, almost a year, and they have not expired and i really don't think they can so highly recommend getting these good little treat for your parakeet and then this is the last part um this is why i really trust uncle bill's more than i did abigail she had lime green poop and green poop which i figured out thanks to actually a webtoon comic um that she was not getting enough protein and i did re more research and that could cause her to die in a year which my other parakeet died in a year so, you know, want to prevent that from happening again. So I got this. Immediately, it started working. I come home, and I think it has a lot of fiber in it, so it makes her poop a lot. So I don't want to give her too much of it all the time, but I give her, like, a spoonful. And it got her poop brown, and she's good now, and all that stuff. But this is Sunburst um, Gourmet Natural Treats. They are fruits and veggies. And it has fruits, vegetables, and a seed treat, and it's for small birds. And it really does have fruits in it. And they have 12.2% of crude protein, 12% of crude fat, 7.2% um, of crude fiber, and 11% of moisture. And the, they have, um, the ingredients are German millet, canary seeds, flax seed, oats, oats <laughs> red millet, sesame seeds, Papaya, pineapple, carrots, clover, coconut, hemp seeds, sunflower seeds, raspberries, apricots, quinoa, antsy seeds, or antsy seeds, I don't know, apples, lettuce seeds, celery, sweet peppers, and spinach. 
very good for them. Um, I think I'm going to start giving her a little bit more because you really need to give them a good amount. So I'm going to start doing two spoonfuls. Um, I just don't want to do all the time because, like I said, fiber, it makes her poop a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, yeah. This Sunburst Gourmet Natural Treats really helped the protein. This is why I started touching up with those a lot more. And that is basically the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please maybe leave a thumbs up. It would really help out the channel since it's a beginning channel. And if you think this is a channel you'll be interested in, maybe consider subscribing. And I do want to say one of my best friends subscribed to my channel. His name is Grady. And Grady, if you're watching this, I'm sorry you didn't get McKenna's AirPods. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, it's it's a long story. I had this friend named McKenna, and she had AirPods, and my friend Grady wanted to keep them over Thanksgiving break. But she didn't want that, so he told me to hide him. Like, not the AirPods, hide him to make her think that he left. And he almost got away with it, but then um, McKenna saw him. So, you know, sorry, Grady. I tried to hurry to get, get there in time, but I couldn't. So, yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will be posting another video probably now. So, yeah. Bye, my beautifuls.